Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. Okay. I'm Joel. I'm Daniel. I'm Petey. I'm Lauren. I'm Mimi. I'm Megan. Oh, I'm Grandpa. <laughs> and we're some of the Veggie Boys. Girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of things on the farm, but one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. There have been a lot of changes here on the farm over the past couple days, and one of the biggest changes comes with the weather. I mean, look at these blue skies. Isn't it beautiful out? Oh yeah, and we nearly got two inches of rain last night. Yeah, you heard me, rain, it came from the sky. So I don't know about you, but we were all pretty excited about that. Uh, that rain is gonna be helpful. However, right away this morning, we need to get our chores taken care of. And as you guys know, the first thing is getting the farm market set up. And we are now all finished with setting up the farm market. I won't lie to you, I was looking through the cooler and it looks like slim pickings, but that's kind of a good thing. When the cooler's on the emptier side, you know that you've been busier, which is always helpful for the farm. But now that the farm market is all set up, we can start moving on to other chores. As you can see, we got started right away with feeding animals. Now in the mornings, besides taking care of animals, we would get the greenhouses watered. But as you can see, this is what our greenhouses look like now, completely empty. Or I should say they used to look like that. They're not all completely empty now. Greenhouse number six and greenhouse number five are empty for the moment. All the plants that were in these greenhouses were moved onto our wagon here. That we don't really need to water because the rain did it for us last night. But that moves us into greenhouse number four and well, it's filled up again. Not completely. Uh, we do have to space out all of these pots, but we have plenty to fill this greenhouse. So we got the largest greenhouse up on the hill taken care of, and now greenhouse number four is filled. I don't think we're gonna be putting anything in greenhouse number six, but greenhouse number five will also have mums in it. As you guys know, it always took up a lot of time to do the watering in the morning, but everything that we put in these greenhouses is gonna be on automatic watering lines. So it's not gonna be that big of an issue. It's just amazing we spent all spring working on getting these greenhouses filled and now we just have them emptied. I mean, it's just, it's cool, that's what we wanted, but it's just crazy how fast time flies. That should wrap up all the cattle. Most of the calves eat here in the back and we feed them the calf feed that we get pre-made for ourselves. The larger cattle have no problems eating out here. The smaller ones usually get pushed around, which is why we like to feed in the back. But since we got feed dumped into everybody, that means the cattle are all taken care of. I just got my basket of eggs all collected and dad is finishing off his last nest. So now that the animals have been all fed and now the eggs have been collected, chores are done for the morning. Carrying eggs up. Got a big old box of eggs. Hey, you like your tractor? 2.7. What do you, what do you think of your tractor? Banana? Yeah. Is that your tractor? Yeah. Yeah? Wow. There's only one problem with that tractor. It's the wrong color, but we won't complain about it. We won't complain about it. Callie likes it. Get on your tractor. No, I have to tell you what color. Callie, what color is the tractor? Green. So I was just informed that we did not get two inches of rain yesterday. We actually got three and a half. I checked the rain gauge when it was at two and I don't know why I thought we only got two inches of rain. For us, three and a half inches of rain, that, that's quite a bit. We would have preferred that to be stretched out over the past month, 
uh, but we'll take what we can get. I think this is a good time to head out to the fields and check on the crops to see how well they did with the rain. Wow, everything looks like it's been enjoying the water. Well, I know one thing's for sure, it is muddy out here. You just saw we drove past the potatoes. They look absolutely beautiful. They have enjoyed this rain. But how about this cabbage behind me? Fortunately, we've been able to irrigate this, but irrigation does not compare to rainfall. And this stuff has really enjoyed the water that it received. And check it out, this cabbage is beginning to make head. This is a really important time for our cabbage to start receiving water. The size of the head can depend a lot on how much water the plant has received. And when it rains, that helps the plant to also soak up more nutrients, which adds to a larger head of cabbage, but not just cabbage. We move up from our cabbage. We have some cauliflower here. It is on the smaller side, but we are starting to make head at the center. And then our broccoli, ooh, look at that. We have tiny broccolis getting ready to form. If it wasn't for the irrigation that we had put on, this stuff definitely would not have made it. However, now that it received some rain, we're gonna have continued growth. I'm just blown away by the size of this cabbage. Look at, there's heads coming on each one. You see the tightening of the leaves near the center? That's what we like to see. I'm walking through the field, getting mud on my boots. The ground has not been saturated like this for a very long time. I'm really excited to see how the peppers, tomatoes, and the cucurbits look, so that's where we're going next. We'll get started off with everybody's favorites, the tomatoes. We were just here the other day when we were checking out how the smoke was affecting our plants, and they have grown quite a bit, actually. I can tell just from the size of the plant that they have grown. Not just the size, but the way they are standing nice and tall. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've been hoping for. But I guess when you get three inches of rain, this is what it's supposed to look like. I would have liked to receive that throughout the entire month of June, um, but you know what, we'll take what we can get. I love looking out through the field and seeing the strips of green going out through the mulch. So that's a big bonus that the tomatoes are looking good. And then once we get to this section of field, we have our pickling cucumbers. There are a few opening spots here and there. That is from earlier on when we did not have moisture. And then once we move a little bit further down the field, we have our cucumbers, our straight eights. They look awesome. This is what it's supposed to look like. This is what we enjoy seeing. Moving down the field a little bit more, we have our dill, basil, and our parsley right here. That looks nice. We have some watermelons planted here. And now we're gonna head over and check on the peppers. It is definitely wet at this section of the field. It's like a little swamp here. So we're not gonna walk over there because I don't have muck boots on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, but anyway, check this out. Look at these peppers. Now this is the very first planting that we did. This is the planting that had to struggle with those dry, dry days. And in the beginning, it wasn't looking too good for some. But let me just say, I am impressed with how these peppers came out of that dry spell. Now you did have some casualties. Like, oh, this isn't a casualty. There's new growth on there. Check that out. Um, but yeah, you did have some casualties here and there but most of it came out of the damage that it had received from being so dry. Now again, because it was so dry, the growth on these plants will be stunted a little bit. Nothing too extreme. Because it's our first planting, we would have preferred it get here a little earlier on, but there's not much you can do when it comes to the weather. And then lastly, we have our second planting of peppers. And you see the strips of green down through the rows. Oh, that just makes me feel so good. I think uh, someone went through here. Look at that. That is muddy. That'd be fun to take the side by side through, but I'm by myself and I don't feel like getting stuck. Ah, eh, we'd make it. I know we'd make it. Ah, eh, why not? We're gonna do it. I'm helping dad and Daniel. They were putting hangers on these baskets. We do hanging mums the same way we do hanging annuals. However, before we put the hangers on, we like to add a time release fertilizer and you need to water them first, which is what I'm doing now. So once we water, we'll get the time release fertilizer added and then we'll put the hangers on them. That way they can be hung up and out of the way. Mums, mums alert. Uh, the tags for this row is uh, down the end of the table, okay? 
Now the reason why we water first before we add the time release fertilizer is because the fertilizer would be so concentrated that it would burn the roots of these plants. And not only will it burn the roots, but you'll actually have water that splashes up and it could possibly burn the leaves as well which are two things we do not want to happen. So before we add the time release fertilizer, we come through with water, then we add the time release fertilizer. This trickling method that we use does not uh, cause near as many issues as it would if we were wand watering. So then once we have it all time release fertilized added, we will then come through and put our hangers on. We're fortunate that it's not too, too busy right now. We don't have to worry about doing hay. Uh, we got a lot of our stuff planted. So it's a good opportunity for us to help the girls in the greenhouse. And we now have a helper here. Callie, how is it going? Sim. You having fun? Yes. You want this? Yes. Now you're probably wondering why you haven't seen Matthew yet today, and there's a very good reason for that. Matthew and Tracy are on vacation. Why? Because it is their anniversary. So happy anniversary, Matthew and Tracy. You showing them who's boss? <laughs> hey, Callie, say whoa! So what we're working on now is adding tags to all of these pots. The label maker makes it easier for us. We have these little holes. We just take the top of the hanger, we push it right through like that, snap it off, and then we move on to the next one. And that's how we put the tags on our baskets. And that's just about gonna wrap up our morning. We got a lot accomplished. Aunt Rhonda was very appreciative that we were here to help get all these baskets hung up and to get everything else taken care of. Alrighty, Grammy, what are we having for lunch today? Pork barbecue and mac and cheese. Now that we are all finished with lunch, we're down around back. We do have some really important things to get done in greenhouse number five. As I mentioned this morning, greenhouse number four is completely full of mums. And well, now it's time to get greenhouse number five completely full of mums. That means we had to do a little bit of cleaning up, which we're almost done with. And once we get everything into place, we're gonna start filling pots. We're gonna be trying something a little different today. Most of the time we just fill the pots and then place them into the greenhouse and then we come through and plant each one. However, we're gonna try and save our bodies today. We're gonna be filling the wagon up with pots and then plant from the wagon and then carry everything in. That way we don't have to be bent over going to each one and planting. We can do it all standing up. Here. Everybody's got their own little job. I'm gonna be filling the machine up with soil. Petey is gonna be handing pots to dad, and then dad's gonna be running the machine. Daniel's gonna be pulling them off. They're growing, but. I was just thinking that way we don't have to bend over. I guess it's not much. No. We got a little busy here at the farm market, so I ended up having to come up and help Megan. She was here by herself. Now some more people have showed up, so I don't need to be up here anymore. But while I was up here helping them, they got finished with all the planting that they were doing down over the hill. So I thought it would be a good idea to run down here and see how it looks. Oh yeah, it's filled up and ready to go. Now we're not 100% done in here. We will have to space everything out, and then we will put in our drip irrigation lines. That will make watering very simple. All you'll have to do is turn a valve, and you'll be able to water this green 
greenhouse and you need to turn another valve and you can water the other greenhouse. Now that we are done with that, Daniel is loading up 14 bags of seed. Him and Petey are gonna be delivering that to a farmer and I'm gonna head back up top. That way if the girls need any help, I'm right there for them. So we had a few things going on. Daniel, as you guys know, went to deliver that seed. Uh, while Daniel was doing that, we were working here in the farm market. And once we got finished taking care of the animals for the night, and taking care of the farm market, we close. All righty, all righty. What are we having for dinner tonight? Bacon, egg, and cheese bagels, and grits. Well, everyone, now that we've made it up to the house, you know what that means. This is where we're gonna end the video today. I would like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye Bye-bye. Bye-bye.